Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome to Pan Reading Freya. This is going to be general reading for the month of June for everyone under, under the sign of Aquarius. Month of June, let's see what is important to know for everyone. <clears throat> For the month of June. Let's put in the question. This reading is for everyone under the sign of Aquarius for the month of June. Please allow me to see what is important to know for everyone that crosses this path. I'm open to receive for Aquarius. Month of June. This month of June. What is important to know for them? Feels right to me. Cut the deck and begin pulling out your cards. First, we have the Page of Cups. Under that, we have the Queen of Pentacles. In the middle, we have the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> Under that, we have the Ten of Cups. In the end, we have the Star. In the end, we have the Hierophant. Okay, let's see what's going on because <clears throat> we have to major arcana. So, I will pull one more card to clarify them. The High Priest, another major arcana. The full, oh my goodness, what's going on? What's going on for everyone under the sign of Aquarius? Oh my goodness, this has never happened before. <clears throat> okay, the last card is the Nine of Cups. Okay, the reason I just kept unpolling cards is because I don't like to give an incomplete reading, and when I see a person, I like to know what's the energy of this person. So let's see how this unravels because. Are I honestly never seen <clears throat> so many many major arcanas. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so the first thing I began seeing for many of you Aqu Aquarius, let me see what I do with this, is that in the month of June something is going on. This has got to be a situation where you have you are dealing with emotional issues and sadness. There will also be <clears throat> financial setbacks or instability. If you are a woman, I see that you are going to be <clears throat> analyzing, revising your financial stability. But I don't know why I just I just have this um, sense of disappointment or sadness that many of you are going to be feeling for the month of June. Some of you are going to be dealing as well with something that is happening to a daughter or a son that is in the emotional side, okay? Maybe <clears throat> some of you can have a son or a daughter that is young and is feeling really disappointed about something that has happened in her life. And this also is, can be something that is um, happening in her studies. Okay, so let's move ahead. The next, the next thing I see is um, either you or, again, a young person is going to be initiating a new... a new phase or a new new education. It can be job related. It can be um, studies. Maybe what is happening, I'm feeling for some of you, is that you either have a son, son or a daughter that are going to be going to school. Maybe this is college. This is graduations. This is um, new beginnings in life. Okay, some of you are going to be really sad 
or your son or daughter is going to be feeling really sad about leaving the leaving home, leaving things behind, initiating something new, or some of you have a son or daughter that are going to be <clears throat> disappointed and sad. You as a parent will be analyzing your finances. Uh, how are you going to pay for this? How are you going to cover that? There is also maybe, a, for some of you, a dissatisfaction in your finances because maybe you have worked too hard and money just seems to be going out the window. <clears throat> Overall, I see that um, <clears throat> many of you will have celebrations, uh, togetherness with the family. This is um, having a lot of things for what to be thankful. This is harmony, um, communication, appreciating life in many aspects of your life. <coughs> okay, As, if some of you have um, a son that is feeling disappointed because maybe he or she wanted to begin something new in school or studies and maybe she received a denial. Please be there for this person. Anyways, I want to clarify. If this person is someone else that is a little bit older, this can indicate that this person can be a little immature, okay? Like, let's say, let's say for example, if what I'm telling you is not someone young, younger than 18, but on, on the other hand, it's someone older, like 20 or 30 years old, okay? <clears throat> I wanted to say, please be by this person's side um, in supporting emotionally because I think that if this has been a denial. This is hitting really hard on this person. Just be there because this person I'm feeling is losing hope and <clears throat> is losing hope, faith, and in it's, it can be something that makes this person um, not believe in him or herself. So be there, okay? Be there and and support. Maybe even <clears throat> just to talk or not talk because, let's face it, it's real that when, if you have a child, I have kids, right? And they're not always willing to talk or explain. Just give them space and, and let this um, period of time pass. I'm just saying be there in case they need something and maybe in some way if it's possible if you guys believe in God or go to church or do things together like that when it comes to religion or faith um, go there go there because maybe that is something that is going to help them uh, with the way they are feeling <clears throat> I see that some of you are going to be dealing with a man um, or you can be this man Okay, I will describe the men, the men's energy. Uh, what I'm seeing is a strict person. Um, <clears throat> things, when he says something is wrong or things have to be done a certain way or certain steps have to be followed, <clears throat> that is what you have to do. Okay, You have to follow orders. You have, That is fine. No, and it's not turning the page into communication or into uh, mediating, coming in the middle. That is not going to happen with this man. If this man has denied your son or you <clears throat> for any new beginning that you were planning, um, <clears throat> I think that it's going to be very hard to deal with this man. If you are a woman, you are going to be dealing with your husband. Maybe he is like that, okay? He is inflexible. He's stubborn. <clears throat> he says, do as I said, not as I do. Because some things that he will say, do as I said and not as I do, uh, those things are um, with the family, okay? Because there could be also things that he is allowed to do. Like, for example, go out, spin, scream, talk, or do whatever he wants. But you, as his partner are not allowed to do. If you are this man 
um, if you are Aquarius and you are going to be feeling inflexible and wanting things done a certain way, please um, reevaluate the situation and think about what is really happening. Okay, so many of you are going to be dealing with a man like that. Some of you are going to be dealing with another woman also. Uh, this woman is manipulated. This woman is very... Um, <clears throat> strong in her in the things she is doing okay what the things i'm getting from this woman is that she is really smart she doesn't speak if she doesn't need to uh she's quiet but she's very knowledgeable some of you if you are having complications in the family this can be the other woman uh this woman is going to manipulate either your partner or whoever you are dealing with to do uh, whatever she wish for her to do okay so we have a lot of a lot of people for you Aquarius I don't know what is going on you have the children you have the other woman you have the men the unflexible um, men I have you as a person that is discontent and evaluating finances and feelings we also have another woman uh, <clears throat> this woman is loving and caring then we have another man this man is uh, emotional, but loving and caring. This man is more or less in his 30s. Um, he can be 35, 38, but not 40, okay? And if this man passes the age of 40, it's because maybe in some aspects of himself, he can be immature. You see, you are dealing with all these, uh, so many people coming in your life for the month of June. Maybe you are dealing with children. Um, children's education, what they want, what they, their dreams. You are dealing with this inflexible man. This can be someone in power, in position of uh, saying, you know what, your child has been denied for this. You have to bring this paperwork. I, if you don't have it, I, he is not going to be admitted. Okay? You are dealing with him. You are dealing with another woman. Two more, one, two more, uh, two more people that are opposites okay one is really um inflexible and wants things down her way and the other one is loving and caring so it's a lot of energies <clears throat> okay in the end um maybe some of you many of you aquarius are initiating something in life and maybe this is just indicating a meeting a meeting where you are going to be sitting in front of a lot of people all these energies that I mentioned are the people that you are going to be facing uh, and dealing with. Um, <clears throat> okay, when it comes to the inflexible men, if there is a possibility, okay, to change the date of that meeting, please do so. Because I'm just feeling in June, you are going to be dealing with a lot of um, people or energy that is not willing to cooperate with you. Change the days. Okay, if you are a woman under the sign of Aquarius for the month of June, please don't procrastinate. Don't leave things for tomorrow. If you have paperwork to, to revise, to fill up, to turn in, or are you applying for something, or you have plans and ideas that you have in mind that you are going to do, please don't procrastinate. Maybe if you don't procrastinate and you manage to get up and, do, and resolve, maybe you can change the energy. Because if you procrastinate <coughs> and wait, <coughs> excuse me, so sorry for that. If, if you wait and procrastinate, this is the energy, exactly what I said, people not cooperating with you. People not willing to listen. People not willing to be flexible. In reality, you don't want to deal with that, okay? After this energy passes, more toward the year, June, July, um, there is a new air in the picture, okay? I see <clears throat> you're going to have the ability to begin new things in life. This is comes and plans and ideas. Also, some of you, are getting a new energy and a male figure. This man is loving, caring, texts you. Uh, how are you? You look nice today. Um, would you 
wanna see me today. I wanna see you. Actually, it's not that you wanna see me. I wanna see you. I wanna spend time with you. All these um, <clears throat> attention. It's going to be a lot of attention for some of you Aquarius, and uh, it's going to feel good. But at the same time, the last thing I have is um, a wish coming through. Something that you have wanted and expected, or maybe wish for for some period of time, is going to come through. This can be as big as initiating a new love relationship, or this can be as little as um, you wishing there will rain and it will rain. Okay, it could be a big wish or can be a small wish. It all depends on what you are dealing with. Okay, Aquarius, that is all I have for now. Uh, if any of you would like to book a private reading with me, please check the description box. There is going to be uh, links and instructions on how you can find me. Thank you for allowing me. I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.